Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Friday, about 5.30 p.m. I'm just taking off out of the condo over here on Sukhavit, Soy 26. I'm going to walk over to Terminal 21 and uh, meet Boone. We're going to run around. I'm not sure where we're heading, but first stop is Terminal 21. It's kind of windy tonight. It feels like it might rain, but uh, that's no reason to stay home. Just throw the portable umbrella in the backpack and get out there. And there's Queen Bee. Hopefully they'll get a nice crowd this evening. Now it's hot, but it's not extremely hot, so I think I'm just gonna make the one train stop from Prom Pong down to a Soak on Terminal 21. And I'm on the even side at Soy 26, so down the way, Soy 14 will be where I'll find Terminal 21 on the opposite side at what would be Soy 21 if they had one. It's uh, a Soak Montre instead. And it looks like they're doing a little bit of uh, paperwork here at the top of Soy 24. Plenty of Friday afternoon traffic. This is Sukhavit right in front of the uh, Emporium Mall underneath the Prompong BTS. The train is the way to go. Here's Bench of Siri Park right in Prompong. And looking down on the park, the new M-Sphere Mall or New Wish, one year old. The IKEA UOB Live concert venue up on the top floor. They also have a nice uh, sports car collection. Just across from the park is uh, probably my favorite street in town, Sukhavit Soy 33 and a half. I'll call it Pub Alley with Robin Hood, O'Shea's, Royal Oak, Laughing Tiger. Great little street. And I'm walking by the Butter Bear here at M Sphere. Bone was telling me this is kind of some kind of TikTok sensation. This line is nothing. When the bear is here, there'll just be hundreds of people in line. No bear, and there still must be a 20 minute wait to get, uh, I guess, their Thai donuts. Butter bear. Coming up to Soy 22 on this side, across the way is Sukhavit Soy 31. And just across from the Holiday Inn here on Soy 22, the El Toro Steakhouse. And all the little beer bars on 22 are coming alive. There's a country bar straight across. And just across the streets, in between Soy 27 and 29, the penalty spot. Made our way up to Sukhavit Soy 20. Good little street. The Deck Restaurant down the way. Little sports uh, place on the corner here, the Sports Corner. Bar and Bistro, that's fun. And it's just across the street, if you can make your way across this busy street, that is the corner of Soy 25 in the Radisson Blue. They have a nice little uh, rooftop bar, Brewski's. And I'm a big fan of all the Buddies locations. This is the one atop the Soy 20. There's one on 22. Ooh, what's the other one? Soy 89 or 87 in the on nude area. And then there's one in Silom and one at the top of Soy 8 in the Nana. And we made our way up to Soy 18. Nice little footbridge here to get across Sukhumvit. You'll be over near Soy 23 short walk over to Cowboy. I'm going to go ahead and cross over to that side. really like this Soy 18. If you're lucky enough to find an affordable apartment, this is right in the heart of Bangkok. You can see the helicopter pads on top of the Millennium Towers. There at the end of Soy 20, it kind of wraps around. And typical Bangkok traffic. And that's looking off in the direction. You can see Terminal 21 at the next larger intersection off on the right. Everybody's hanging out, waiting to get on the different buses, to head out to the suburbs. And here's Soy 23. Take a quick right, maybe a three minute walk down. You'll be at the back end of Soy Cowboy. It runs in between 23 and a Sulk Montre over in the Terminal 21 side. I have two options to get up into the Terminal 21. I can go up the stairs, get on this skywalk, which will take you to the Asok BTS and straight into Terminal 21. But I'm gonna walk straight ahead. It's a crosswalk, but it's kind of the Times Square of Bangkok. So 100 people will run across the street at a time. You still have to uh, be careful for that motorbike to be going the wrong way and come out of nowhere. It's pretty popular, the Indulge Fusion Food and Cocktail Bar. They got the uh, water misters going. And we came up to the corner of Sukhumvit and Asok Montre just to the right. It's not on the corner. It's just a two-minute walk to the right. 
right over here is uh, Soy Cowboy. There's also an MRT entrance to go under busy Asok Mantri here. But I'm just going to deal with the crosswalk. Like I say, it's a very well-traveled crosswalk. However, these lights seem to take forever. I, I don't know, like five minutes? So nine out of ten times, I'll just go up here, take the skywalk, not deal with the traffic at all, much less uh, stand in here waiting for the light to change. And you're being pretty foolish to run across this street on a red light. As I said before, I hate to keep repeating myself as you're looking at the direction of traffic here. It would stand to reason that's the only thing you need to worry about. But no, you need to look over your shoulder right here because there might be a bike coming out of nowhere. And there we go, three or four minutes later, it's a green light. Yeah, nobody's gonna stop for you. You just need to step out in front of them. Green lights, pedestrian right away, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, take a step back over here. It's uh, a little more dog eat dog with the traffic. So do not step out in front of a bike even on a green light that's uh, moving right along, or you're gonna get hit. There you go, we've arrived. This is the stairs coming down from the Asok BTS, and right off to the right, that is the underground, the MRT Sukhumvit, the junction of uh, the Asok station and Sukhumvit MRT. And that's where we're heading, Terminal 21, and the Grand Center Point Hotel is a part of the mall. Just typical traffic, these well-traveled train stations. Maybe don't uh, come to the Asok station at 5 o'clock on a, well, any night and try to figure out how to get a rabbit card or even a single ticket unless you want to deal with these lines. Bring your passport. If you're looking for a rabbit card, that's the form of identification they're going to want to enter. And you're not going to have... Uh, very many happy people behind you waiting to sign up for a rabbit card at 5 p.m. on a Friday. But I'll leave that up to you. Right here, this little ramp is going directly into uh, the mall. And I'm heading up to the top floor. That's usually where you'll find electronics, cameras, that kind of thing. Also the movie theaters. I want to say they have movie day. I don't know if it's Monday or Tuesday. 150 bought a ticket. But even normally today, right now at Friday, it's 220 bought. Other movie theaters around town will be five, 600 baht. There are some that are 1,100 baht for those couch seats. Even for 220 baht, it's a very nice seat. Huh, what's going on here? My AIS store has closed. You know what's going on? This was my go-to AIS. There's still all the agents out front, so maybe they're just doing a quick remodel. But all the uh, major phone plans will be up here. Well... I guess there's just two now, AIS and True. I believe DTAC moved merch with True, and there's True down the way. I use True Internet at home, and AIS I've had for years and years on my cell phone. It's treated me well. See, there's an example of uh, one of the fancier couch seats. Eh, it's up to you. Now, snacks are a, a little bit uh, of a different matter. You're going to pay more for a popcorn and soda. I see $3.49. I think you can do a little bit better than that, but when you're only paying 150 baht for your movie day ticket, yeah, stand by on the uh, popcorn and drink. Still, it's all fairly affordable. I hate to sound like a cheap Charlie, but when you can go to the movies at any time, you might as well go on uh, movie day and save a few bucks. With that being said, we might go to the movies tonight. I'm going to leave it up to Boone. Friday's uh, kind of her night to pick a new restaurant or maybe a rooftop bar to hotel although she's a pretty down-to-earth person she's uh fairly comfortable just hanging out at the irish pub uh, and luckily o'shea's is my go-to place and i'm in the uh, banana store you'll find these all over thailand all kinds of uh electronics some are larger than others with uh tons of laptop selections this is a little bit smaller store but um it's in the mall where we're meeting, so I'm gonna see if they have what I'm looking for. Laptops, pretty much all electronics. I'll just throw out a blanket statement, 20% more than the United States. I know 
I'll say that every now and then, and, and people are caught off guard. Hey, I thought they made all those uh, electronics in Southeast Asia and Asia. Well, that might be true. I don't know if it's import reasons or just whatever the case is. You're just not going to find 50% off Best Buy deals. From old school pinball machines, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Spider-Man. We're now making our way from Terminal 21. We're walking over to Nana. I think we're heading over to Soy 8 and DET or DET5, the restaurant. Here's the all-star sports bar. Top of, uh, where are we, Soy 15. Little uh, night market action happening. Traffic coming out of the Nana area heading towards the Soak. And that is looking up Sokumbit Soy 15. I think the Hooters just closed up on the right or, or they're doing a remodel. I don't know, it's tore up in there. Directly across the street is Soy 12, and that's Koreatown. Maybe four stories high of uh, restaurants and karaoke-type bars. Huh, and I've never seen this uh, called a pool hall. Uh, Bush Garden, and I, I'm assuming that's part of the Bush Garden above? If not, what do we got there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine tables in there. Good times. It definitely says pool bar and, and dinner, or diner but I can't read the sign, it's in yellow. But anyhow, look for uh, the Bush Garden restaurant right above. And the Sofitel Hotel, beautiful properties all over the world. Bangkok is uh, right in there with all the others. Across the street, that's the top of Suite 13. You'll find a ton of little bars down there. The Sportsman, that's where you're gonna wanna go for US NFL football. You'll find two breakers locations, different uh, pool halls and pool leagues, but Margarita Storm's pretty decent right on the corner. Here we, we are, we're almost up to uh, Soy 8 on the left, and Soy 11 is directly on the other side of the street. There's another Buddy's Bar here at the top of Soy 8. Across the way is the popular Soy 11. It's very early, I'm not even sure what time it is, 7.30, but this Soy 11 at midnight, it's as busy as the Vegas Strip, just crazy. We are heading down Soy 8 today, and there's the Today at Soy 8 bar right on the corner. And here's the popular Soy 8. We have the Red Hog bar on the left, uh, Viva on the right. A little ways down is, well, right here is the Velvet on the right as well. So Viva's a good spot. You'll find F1. I see Tour de France on there. And then down the way on the right is uh, Velvet. It used to be the Kiwi, but I believe the Kiwi was... Uh, over here on the left, years and years ago, and here's the Roadhog Bar. This is another popular spot. Oh, and the brew house, I, I forgot, on the right. We might actually uh, stick our head in the brew house. I know Boone really likes her ciders, and uh, I could see them all on tap. I don't think I've ever I've been in this brew house. It's pretty nice. They have an upstairs. Maybe I'll run up there, and I don't know if they have a pool table, but... Uh, it looks like a band is setting up for later. And an open section right across from the Lyft Hotel, LYF. And I believe that, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, I believe that is where the Kiwi Bar used to be like 10 years ago. Because that looks like fairly new construction. I know it was on that side of the street. And the guitar player is setting up. I head upstairs to the chill area. Hey, this is really nice. I'm sure you could make an arrangement to uh, have a party up here, you know? You and your 20 closest friends. And even have another bar. Yeah, I like this brew house. Words to live by. And it's a beautiful night. All the different people walking by. I, I might switch over to this little table here. And I don't know what uh, Boone just got. I guess it's bruschetta. And in traditional style, it's uh, Instagram time. The Brother Cider. That's looking up the street. We got the Lyft Hotel on the left. Then Rumors Bar. And then right here is the Tipsy Tap. My buddy, John, I know he likes to come over here for breakfast. So check out the Tipsy Tap. So I ate. And a no notorious little place on the left there, Lolitas. And then on the right is Auto Pizza. Let me get out of the way of traffic here. Auto Pizza is a, a pretty darn good slice. It's the Monsoon Cafe and Restaurant. And here's the Stable Lodge and Restaurant. 
little open air place. Here's where we're going. I don't know if that sign comes out. Sometimes the whites and the dark don't work so well. But you can see it's a large patio, DET5, DET5, DET5. I'm not sure. Large place, good food, good prices. And all day, what does this say? All day, night, happy hour. Draft beer, bottled beer, 11 to midnight. Sounds good. Yeah, I like this place. I've had some great meals here. Probably uh, the first one was 15 years ago. I keep coming back. The main reason, I know it's a little silly, but they bring you a nice, cool eucalyptus -y towel, washcloth, cold. So, I mean, if I have my choice here or the place next door, I come in here for the cool towel. Nice touch. And some good 80s tunes in here. It is starting to sprinkle. So hopefully we're gonna be okay. We'll hang out in here for a while, but they are putting up the rain covers on the side in case it uh, starts blowing in here. Nice little refuge. Good times here. I just ordered up a pork chop. I thought we were gonna get a whole fish, but Boone's in the mood for, I don't know what you got, some other uh, Thai food. So yeah, I'll eat the fish when uh, we are going to share it. And no cider here, so switch over to Tequila Sunrise, as you do. She doesn't know what it's called. It's pork. It's pork. Is it Isan food? No. It's, okay, it's pork noodles without the noodles. There you go, pork and vegetables. Oh, there's a little bit of noodles on the side, some glass noodles. I don't know, looking good. I just went old school for wrong food, pork chop tonight. Sometimes a guy just wants a pork chop. And I like my chili as much as the next guy, but Boone just threw about three scoops on there. That's crazy. Yeah, I, a lot of people worry about the spicy type food, but the chilies are pretty much on the side. So it's up to you to throw three heaping teaspoons on there like she just did or a half a te teaspoon like me, and I, I like spicy as the next person, but three teaspoons, yeah, you're on, you're on fire there. Okay, so this might be a problem. I didn't realize I was getting this much food. Uh, let's see, I'll put my beer here for reference. That's a lot of food, so I better get busy, and I'm assuming that's gravy. And Boone just threw more chili on there. I, I told her I liked the vinegar pepper, chili, and she threw three scoops of that on there. But I am going to work on this pork chop. And she is sticking my dinner on Instagram. 550 baht, so not cheap, but not a crazy amount. What is that, 15 $16? Factor it in with your eating budget. I eat plenty of Thai food. I had uh, 60 baht Thai food for lunch, and I'm having a 550 baht Friday night pork steak. So yeah, I'm not going to eat Thai food every meal. So it is going on 9 p.m. We're still hanging out. Just finished our food. Listen to the 80s tunes. I forget who this band is, but I actually saw them back in the 80s. San Diego, 91X Fest. At 9 o'clock, I'm stuffed. We're hanging back up Soy 8. We're heading back up Soy 8. There goes the Hopeland Hotel. Tuk Tuk. The old tipsy tap. Right, we're gonna take the little alley here past Lolita's and pop out over on Sukhumvit Soy 6. There's a bar I've walked by a bunch of times. I don't know if it's new, I've never seen it. At the Australia something or another? Well, let's go check that out. Here's the 8855, which used to be the Kiwi Bar. Today it's 8855. Here on the right is Argo Bar and Grill, but as you continue past Lolita's, past Argo, there's a little cut through here, and I don't want to film the lady sitting out front, but that's the Casalong massage, I think. Let me try not to film them. I'm going to try to not stick the camera in the lady's faces, but right over here, so it's right to the left. But yeah, here's the place, the Lost Aussie. I don't know anything about it. I don't know if it's new. We're heading back over towards Soy 8. The Red Hog Bar. 
again, that's looking across the way to Soy 11. We're going to take a quick left, and we're 20 feet to the stairs at the Nana BTS. Change of plans. We're going to go up and over the Nana BTS station and go over to that sports bar right there. I'll call it at the top of Soy 11, the game. Yeah, I have a little nightcap here. I'm going to jump on the train, head the two stops back up to Prompong. I really appreciate you uh, running around Bangkok, Thailand with me, my favorite city in the world. And there will be plenty more videos to come. Consider subscribing if you, if you haven't. I've been uh, putting out daily videos for a year and three months now, and there'll be more to come until I poop out. Hey, we'll see you later. Have a good evening.